MagSafe has really enhanced the iPhone experience over the last couple years. If you are a personal blogger, I have a handful of iPhone accessories you should really check out. Hello and welcome back. It's VLD. Let's get started. The iPhone has been the best accessory for any blogger. The cameras are good. It records well. It's easy to use. And if you really want to up your game even more, Apple introduced MagSafe a couple years ago. You can attach a whole variety of different accessories to it. It has really changed the game. The Moment Pro tripod with cold shoe mount. I have owned this for about the last year or two. It's held up well. It was one of the first MagSafe accessories you could attach to 3 8 threading. There is the screw that holds the cold shoe in place, but after about a year, it has kind of worn out. I'm looking to upgrade my game even more. The cold shoe isn't really stable anymore. I have a light from Ulanzi. It's a small portable USB type C, 2000 milliamp. You can get off Amazon for about $20. It's held up well. I have a whole smorgasbord of MagSafe accessories to check out today. Ulanzi has really upped their MagSafe game over the last couple years, they have released a whole variety of MagSafe accessories. I have three or four different ones from that brand to check out. I also have a MagSick from Andable. I reviewed their MagSafe accessory a month ago. All of these are from quality brands. You should read the first product you can pick up is from Ulanzi. You can pick this off Amazon right now for $30. It is a one fourth mount adapter for MagSafe. Basically, that translates to anything for camera accessories, tripods, mount you can hook this up to it on the back side of it while it is being MagSafe. Your iPhone will just snap to it. If you ever want to record from a variety of different angles and you don't want that camera shutter and the shake while you hold it, this would be a good example for attaching to tripods, arms, or a whole variety of different accessories. Even the one by Moment offers the same experience, but it is a little bit different. It serves a little bit of a different purpose. These are both good accessories for MagSafe photography. For any iPhone to up your game even more. The next one is from Ualanzi. It is essentially a MagSafe flight that's powered by USB Type-C. If you're ever out in the nightclub a lot and you need extra light, some product photography, this might be a product meant for you. It attaches to your iPhone with magnets, so it does make it MagSafe compliant. I'm going to put this on the charger for the moment and I will get back to this by the end of the video. The next one is also from Ualanzi. It is the magnetic iPhone tripod mount SC-28. You can pick this off Amazon right now for $39.99 and they always tend to have a 5% off coupon. I've used the other one by Moment for about the last year or two now. I do like the one from Moment but from Ualanzi it's built tougher, it's thicker, it's heavier. I could mug someone with this. The one by Moment is a little bit thinner, it's not as sturdy but the reason why I decided to switch to Ualanzi was because the cold shoe mount on top was really starting to wear out. The one from Ualanzi is thicker, it's sturdier. While that is true, I feel as if it will hold up longer. Also, the one by Moment is almost double the price. I'm also trying to be budget conscious at the same time. I want a good quality product but not pay the most premium price. So the one by Ualanzi hits all the check marks. I've used them both for a while. If you get the one by Moment, the one without the cold shoe is $50, $60. If you do want the cold shoe attachment on top, plus shipping is $10, so minimum you are paying $70. Ualanzi, you can pick up theirs for under $40, so it's almost less than half the price. The magnets are good for both of them. My only issue is the one by a moment. The cold shoe mount has given out. They make quality premium MagSafe accessories, but at the same time, the quality of service I get from the products has not held up to the standard in which I give them. The one by Ualanzi gets the win for me. It's a better quality material. It's cheaper, built tougher. I just like the look and feel even, especially for less than half the price. My only issue with Moment, if they re-released their MagSafe mount and made the cold shoe attachment thicker because they have two variations of this, a $10 difference for the cold shoe mount. And if you get this nine times out of 10, you will get the one with the cold shoe attachment. It's worn out and it doesn't really hold up over time. Ualanzi wins this round. If you're 
like me, and if you have time to kill, I have been listening to Audible for years. I'm almost up to six months of listening time. X4 by Craig Allison is a fantastic series. Book 15, the final conclusion of the series, drops December 6th. If you are new to Audible, a limited time offer, only $5.95 a month for the first four months, or you could try Audible for free for 30 days. My link will be down below. I only have a couple weeks to catch up on the series until book 15, so have a good day. The next item is from Andabil. If you want the ultimate selfie stick that can do anything, the Swiss Army Knife, this product is meant for you. You can pick this off Amazon right now for $69.99. Granted, it is a little bit more expensive compared to other selfie sticks. You are also getting MagSafe, and it's a pretty decent product. It even has its own carrying case. If that doesn't scream premium, I don't know what is then. It does have threading on each side. You can attach microphones and lights to it with an adapter. This is pretty standard for any photography gear. It's also MagSafe. You can attach your phone to it through magnets. There's also a clamp that closes down, so you have two layers of protection. So if you're walking, you trip and fall, your phone won't go flying. There's also a release button on the back, so it will make sure your phone is nice and secure. While your phone is on the selfie stick, you can rotate and pivot it 180 degrees. You can also rotate your phone 360 degrees. There's a particular angle angle you want to shoot for, you have that. The neck of the selfie stick can extend out 63 inches. That can extend out to about 5 or 6 feet. It gives you more versatility. There's more of a longer range. If that isn't long enough for you, I don't know what is. On the base of the selfie stick, you have a Bluetooth shutter button. All you have to do is connect your phone to it through Bluetooth. If you want to record some photos or selfies with you and a group of friends, you can do that up to about 20 or 30 feet for the range of the Bluetooth. It's a cool little addition. You know, all these little features that they add to the selfie stick make it more of a Swiss army knife and it can do a whole range of other things than other selfie sticks can't do. The base handle of the selfie stick will extend out into a tripod, so the handle will turn into feet. You can place it on the floor or desk. For the feet, I wish were a little bit thicker. They do feel a little bit cheap because the longer you extend it, the more wobbly it will become. If they came out with another revision of that, that's one thing I would like to see them work on. If you are a fan of my channel or you just discovered me, a sub to the channel would go a long way and really help me out and that would really be selfie-rific. One more cool thing about this product is you can actually remove the MagSafe, the neck of it, so you have a basic selfie stick with feet. You can attach any other accessory to it. So if the actual phone holder does break, you can just swap it out with your own other MagSafe accessory. If you ever wanted to use the MagSafe holder like on a table mount, you can literally attach that to another tripod, selfie sticks, or anything you want because both parts are interchangeable. If one were to break, you can completely swap them out with other gear. You don't have to buy brand new parts or pieces. This is how the tripod looks fully extended. Like I said, it is 63 inches long. It gets to about any range you want. If you want to do a top-down shoot or anything, you have that ability. But at the same time, with the feet being kind of small, the more stretched out the selfie stick is, the more likely it is to wobble. If you're outside and the wind catches your selfie stick, 9 times out of 10, it's more likely to fall over. Keep that in mind if you're outside shooting with it. I wish the feet were a little bit bigger so it could stretch out more of an area at the end of the day. I think this is literally a Swiss army knife for bloggers. It can literally do a little bit of everything and it can cater to a whole variety of different audiences. Just because it's so versatile, it can do so much. The last one is from Ulanzi. It's a magnetic cell phone selfie light. It's rechargeable with USB type C. You have an on and off switch. You also have a button, different ambient lights. It's that easy. All you have to do is clip it to your iPhone. It's MagSafe. Build quality aside, it's a cool idea. It's very limited. Like the build quality is feels very cheap. It feels as if I could just break it just by holding it. And the magnets on the backside, you can't actually attach anything else to it so it's only the one MagSafe accessory you can use at the time for some reason this light was not turning on no matter whatever I did I had to smack it around eventually turn on the lights are a little bit too bright you can't actually adjust the brightness and for spending $20 I would just avoid this one I like the concept of it MagSafe selfie light you can attach to your iPhone especially for nighttime or out and about but this particular product it's poorly built for some reason after 
about half an hour of messing around with it, the light eventually did turn back on. There are better alternatives out there. I would rather get an external light with a cold shoe mount just because it'll be brighter. You can control the brightness. It will just be better overall. You don't really have to compromise with the design, making it too thin to fit on your phone. Just get an external light and make your life easier. They're both the same price. The other one from Ulanzi is 10 times better. The Swiss Army Knife Selfie Stick from Andabil, fantastic product. If you do a lot of selfies or blogging with your iPhone, this is the product to get. So like always, I'm your host, VLD, smash that bell and subscribe. Peace.